Hello kindergartners, it's Mrs. Hoskin. Today is Friday, April 24th, and I came to you with another story about farm animals. I know our week this week is supposed to be about pets and how we take care of pets, but Mrs. Hoskin has a lot of books about farm animals, so I'm going to read you another story about farm animals. cock a doodle doo Who? Hmm. Who says cock a doodle doo a rooster says cock-a-doodle-doo. What animal says hoo, hoo? An owl. Do you notice in this illustration that there's some chickens and one owl? I wonder what's going to happen. It's written by Mick Manning. That is the illustrator or author who wrote the words. And the, oh, actually, I don't know. It just says Mick Manning and Britta Grant's. Grantstrom. So that means they probably worked on the words and illustrations together because it doesn't tell us which one did which. So it was a team activity. One stormy night, an owl walked into a farmyard. He was cold, lost, and lonely with no place to go. So he squeezed through a hole in the shed. Do you see the hole in the shed? Look at him. Oh, the way his eyes are looking down. He looks so sad. It was warm and cozy in there, and he fell asleep. Where is he? He's in a chicken coop. In the morning, Owl woke up to a nip and a pinch. He heard clucking and squawking. He was surrounded by bony feet and beady eyes. He was in the hen house. Look at all those hens looking at him like, who are you? Oh, his eyes are so big. He didn't know he was in a hen house. He's no hen. He's no rooster. We need a rooster. What a shame. We could give him a try. Who? Now, these little speech bubbles mean that these animals are saying these words. Can that happen in real life? No. So we call this book a fantasy. This is something that could never, ever, ever happen in real life. Animals can't speak like that in real life. So it's a fantasy. Our fantasy has characters. So far, one of our main characters is the owl and the chickens. Fantasies often have a problem. What's our problem right now? Yeah, the owl was cold and lonely, but he ended up in the hen house. And the hen don't seem very excited about it so far. Let's see what happens. Can he peck like a rooster? Said one bossy hen. Owl tried to peck. Here he is trying. The hens awarded him no points for pecking. Can he scratch like a rooster? So here's a hen, there's an egg, this, this chicken's scratching. Here's Owl, he's trying. No points for scratching. Can he cock a doodle doo like a rooster? Owl tried a cock a doodle doo. Who? No points for cock-a-doodle-dooing. What a clown. What a loser. Oh, these are not kind words. He'll have to go. Oh, poor, roost, poor owl. Who, who, cried owl sadly. He liked the warm, cozy hen house in the yard, dappled with spring sunshine. The speckled hen put her bony wings around him. I'll teach you how to be a, wisp, a rooster, she clucked. Oh, that was so kind of her. Kind of like our story yesterday where, um, not yesterday, two days ago, where the horse or the cow taught the pig how to oink and the pig taught the cow how to moo, right? I think I got that right. So this chicken says she's going to teach the owl how to be a rooster. And she did. Owl learned how to march up and down. Guard the hen house. 
and puff out his feathers. Poof! He was doing really well. Oh, I'm proud of him for practicing and learning new things. Until the other hen said, try a cock a doodle doo Al tried very hard. He tried his best, but he was an owl after all, and he just hooted like an owl. Hoo! The other hens were not impressed. Goggle eyes! A rooster must cock a doodle doo. All he does is hoot. What sort of an egg did you hatch out of? A square one? Oh, these animals are not kind at all. How do you think they're making Al feel? That's some really great predictions. Oh, I was thinking Al would feel sad, but look, look what happened. Al got cross. Cross is another word for angry. He'd had enough. He was hungry and he was fed up with the silly hens. So he said, I'm an owl, not a fowl. Owls aren't hens. We hoot in the moonlight. We don't pet corn. We catch, we catch rats. Oh, man, squawked a hen peering into the hen house. Oh, there's the rat. Do you know what rats like to do? Break and eat the eggs. Oops, you can't quite see it. Oh, we don't want rats. A rat! A rat is in our hen house! The rat was stealing eggs, eating corn, chasing chicks. When Al heard this, he pricked up his ears, tufts. He flexed his sharp claws and struck, stretched his soft wings. Then silently... As a floating feather, he flew across the hen house. Oh, boy. Snip, snap, he caught the rat and gobbled it up. Ooh, he ate the rat. That rat was tasty and delicious. The hens were speechless. They fussed around, owl in a flurry of feathers and clucks. Oh, do you think they're happy that he caught that rat for him and saved their chicks and eggs? And Al puffed and Al puffed out his chest with a swagger and a strut. Cock a doodle hoo! Our very own special rooster, our beautiful goggle-eyed rooster, our excuse me, our hero, our rat-catching owl. Oh, he helped them, and now all of the hens are being so kind and happy to him. Oh, and there they go. The owl is leading the hens, and they're all following, and the chicks. And I don't know if you can see it, but the farmer is very confused. He's scratching his head like, what's going on here? The end. So this story was similar to the last two stories we read. Can you tell this person sitting with you, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, what was the same with this story and the other stories we read this week? And what was different? Talk about what was the same and what was different. All right, guys, it's Friday. Have a great weekend and I will see you all again on Monday. Bye.